hi, this is a tutorial. Well, actually no it's not, because it's just me saying that I have finally done it. I finally made an RPG. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Yes, I know. It's very strange, but I finally made one where it's it's actually a turn-based one. And it's not one of those weird types where it's like, oh, we made an RPG, but all it is is a, uh, all it is is where it's not turn-based, and you just run around and slash at things and stuff. You know, you have attack stats and stuff, but it's not turn-based, so, yeah, I finally, finally made one after looking for a long time for looking for a turn-based, I could not find it, so I decided to make one. I tried, I failed. Month later, I tried again and I failed again. So then, two years later, I came back with a lot more experience. Finally, I was able to do it. Anyways, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Loading. Please wait. All right. It starts out with this screen is 640 by 480, but it's it's really not in the real game. It's 320, but I'm gonna make it bigger. Alright, so here's the player. It's all black and white because, um, I found out that if you make it in black and white at first, you get more lucky. And so, I made it in black and white, so I got lucky and I made it successful. If I would have tried to make it in color, my luck would have not paid off and I probably would have failed. Alright. So, you can walk around, do all this sorts of stuff. And uh, the main buttons are Z and X. If you press Z, you can run. And if you just barely tap it, it'll face that direction. And press Enter. This is the uh, this is the main screen. Okay, we got the stats, the HP, and the uh, status right now. So right now I'm normal. Zero spirit experience level zero, and this stuff. This the stats are picked at random from the beginning. If you click left or right, it switches screens. So now we're at the equipped screen, and the weapon, and the armor, and the gold. So, if you press X, it creates this box here, which you can then move around with the arrow keys. And you press... I only have two items right now. Oh, right, currently. But I can get them later in the game. You can equip different items and armor and stuff. So, yeah. And then, there is this item screen up here. A for items. So you press that. You've got, f I've got five items so far. There's a three next to them, which means you've got three of each of those items. This is the description box. Same thing, you press X and it shows, uh, you can move it around and stuff like that. So right now I have this one highlighted. Go down, the health potion restores 200 HP. Cool, that's pretty good to know. Alright, what's this one? A decent health potion restores 500. Mmm, now we're getting somewhere. A medicine that's used by doctors to cure poison. Oh, well, that's pretty useful. A very sweaty gym sock that smell is so bad it shocks you out of stun. That doesn't really make any sense. Cold ice cubes that cure a burn. Alright, so there's all of our items that I've made so far. I can make a lot more. But I just made the item be a whole item things. You can walk up to stuff like this, press it, you found the short sword. Yay! Here's the short sword. You found it. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright, so now the short sword is gone. And if you press enter to the pause screen. Whoops, sorry. If you press enter and go to the pause screen, look at that, you've got a short sword now. Boom. Now you have that equipped. Depending on which one you click on, that's the one you have equipped. Alright. So now let's go. I'm not gonna walk near any bushes yet, because I'll get I'll try to get items first. Or now I'll just walk into some oak bush. <laughs> Yay! Alright. This is it. This is my first monster monster. The name's up here. This one happens to be deformed, because I just made it as a test, but I kept it in anyways. This is the monster's stat and level. And this is what you have 
you can do right now, but I'll show you that later. This is what you have equipped it. You can press A for the same exact item screen. Um, this is the player right here. This is your total HP. This is the HP you have right now. This is your defense, attack, and speed, and your status. Now, for this, it's actually very cool because you can open up, it's like tabs, you know? Stuff like this. Um, the only the only thing I have in right now is normal for everything. Uh, if you do attack special or defense special or up at speed special, it doesn't do anything. Also, there's no PP, but um, that doesn't that doesn't really matter. Let's see. So like you can use you can use as many uh, you can attack as many times as you want. There's no power points or anything to make it go down. And you can run away too. But I won't run away. I'll just attack him. So, and see now he's level four because it's just random each time. All right, so let's attack him with a normal attack. Oh yes. All right. So what that just did was it attacked. It showed my damage, and then he actually the monster randomly picked w out of either attacking me, upping its defense, upping its attack or upping its speed, or doing its special. Its special is different for every monster. Alright, so we got all that. So I'm going to attack again. Oh yeah. See, it, it, it did up defense, so now I attack less. And then it hit me, so now my HP's less. But if I want to, I can, you know, use a potion. Use the potion HP up by 200. Oh, it used an HP up. That happens to be its special. So now my HP went up. Alright, so let's just kill it. Yay! Alright, so now we got 8 experience, but I'm still at level 0. I'm still got the uh, same equipped. But then there's HP there, so I'll, I'll heal myself a little bit. Yeah, and see how it went down to a 1 after I clicked it? So now I have full HP. And if you try to use something, but it won't have any effect, it just, it won't, it won't, uh, it won't count. So if I'm clicking X right now, and it's not making the numbers go down. So just in case you actually mess up. I've got a total of, like, nine monsters right now. Oh, and also slopes. So, like, here's a slope. And so I just slip, fell down the slope. And if I try to run back up, I can't do it. This is, uh, yeah, wait. Okay, there we go. So then, that's that. You can also talk to people. Where's the person to talk to? Here we go. I'm the person who tests stuff. Okay, so it shows the person who's talking, the big sprite of the person who's talking, and the what they say. Right now I'm working on direction. If you click me on the left side, I face left. Isn't that beastly? Wish me luck in the future. So what that means is what that what he's talking about is if you click him like over here, his this sprite will face that way. See? It's pretty cool. Anyways, I think we're almost out of time, but you can see it, it's actually very easy to make a new enemy in this. And if you want me guys, to, you want me to put this as a uh, like download if you want to try this out for yourself, just leave a comment or something like that. I'll pretty much, I'll if anybody leaves a comment, I'll put it up. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Hopefully I'll see some comments pretty soon. See you guys later.